What's up, YouTubers? What's up, boys and girls? Your boy, Red Crimson, the hardcore gamer. I'm pretty sure y'all have heard that the Switch 2 is in heavy production. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, boys and girls. The Nintendo Switch 2 is in heavy production. You all have seen the videos. So... <clears throat> Yes, the Switch 2 is in mass production. Nintendo's ramping up. They're getting ready. I guess they want everybody to have a Nintendo Switch 2 when it's finally available. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. So we don't have to push and shove, scream and shout, get into fist fights, and line up 100 deep in front of your Best Buy, your GameStop, or wherever you get your video games. It's going to be enough for everybody. They're making sure they mass producing the Switch 2 right now and getting ready for it next year. But hold up, who said it's coming out next year? There's a lot of talk saying that the Switch 2 is supposed to come out. Well, actually, it's possible that it can come out the end of this year 2023 say around november time but we all don't know it's a speculation and rumors but nintendo themselves have said several times even last year that they're going to release a successor to the switch in 2024 and they're not going to do an upgrade they're going to go straight to next gen which i respect and i know you have seen the videos out there there's recent videos that actually popped up saying that the Switch 2 will be using a T, I believe it's a T239 chip. Wow, it's crazy how I remember that off the top of my head. And you guys can Google that information on how powerful that chip is, but I know the T239, I believe it's somewhere, is one of the newer te Xtegra chips, um, which, you know, the Nintendo Switch uses the Tegra X1, which is outdated by now. It's about, what, uh, seven, eight years old. I believe that chip, the Tegra X1, came out in 2015, and the Switch came out in 2017. So it's a two-year-old chip when the Switch had launched. And even the PS5 and the Series X uses a two-year-old GPU, which is, I believe, it's a 26, somewhere around the 2060, 2060 Super level. But anyway, we're not here to talk about sony or microsoft we're talking about the switch two years so it's rumored that it is a t239 um the chip is pretty powerful man and i believe it's four teraflops of power which is a lot that means the switch 2 will be powerful and also i'm hearing that um the gpu from the Switch 2 is going to be based off the RTX 30 series now. That's a huge deal. And we all know that the 30 series cards from Nvidia are very, very, very powerful. I know they have the 490 RTX cards out there now, but the 30 series cards are great cards. You can never go wrong with those cards. So for the Switch 2 to be based off the RTX 30 series, that's a huge deal, but you know, Nintendo's going to take that chip and they're going to customize it into what they wanted to do. But from what I'm hearing, from what I'm seeing, Nintendo is not really playing around with the Switch 2. The Switch 2 is going to be powerful. There's a lot of speculation of people saying that, you know, um, the Switch 2 is not going to be powerful. It's going to be slightly more powerful than the original Switch. Come on now, people. Use common sense. Nintendo said they're skipping the upgrade and they're going straight to next gen. I, I mean... You have you ever seen Nintendo make a next gen system that's a little bit more powerful, a teeny bit more powerful than their previous generation system? Well, if you want to be funny, the Wii was the exception, but with the Wii, they were going for a whole different market. They were trying something new, and that worked. But you gotta use common sense and logic, people. The Switch 2 is gonna be significantly more powerful than the original switch i heard it's going to be 10 times more powerful and i heard the cpu actually um matches the ps5 or exceed it somewhat and we already know well actually a lot of people don't know but i'm you will hear here first actually i'm not even the first one to say this but i just use common sense and logic like i said people but information is out there the switch 2 is going to be 
more powerful than the Steam Deck. Trust me, that even the Switch Pro that was supposed to come out on paper was more powerful than the Steam Deck. And it makes sense because Nintendo, trust me, even though they don't care about the Steam Deck, Nintendo doesn't really pay too much attention. And as I said, too much attention to their competition. But you think they're not aware of the Steam Deck and the A&E and all these wannabe handhelds that's not even doing well compared to the Nintendo Switch? Nintendo sees that, you know what, there is a market for a more powerful handheld and they're gonna have to use more power if they want to get games like Resident Evil 4 Remake you know Elden Ring for example so the next Switch Fair Not guys is gonna be very powerful is gonna be able to support every game that comes out on the PS5 and PC well of course it may not be graphically on that level but it's gonna be good enough where the comparisons are very similar and I'm pretty sure it's going to be 60 FPS across the board for every single game. Higher frame rates for certain games at 120 FPS would be nice. I would definitely go for that. And you already know when the system is docked, it's going to look way better than it does in portable form. But fear not guys, the next Switch is definitely going to be more powerful. Definitely more powerful than the Steam Deck. Um, some people are saying, well, I've heard somebody say somewhere on the lines of the Series S. I think it's going to be more powerful than that too, from what I've seen. But if you're using the two, two excuse me, if you're using the T two thirty nine chip, then <coughs> <coughs> that chip, man, is pushing out some power. But common sense again, people. Common sense and logic people i said it once before and i say it again i say it one last time a next generation system is usually more powerful than the previous one and nintendo skip the pro for a reason that next gen switch is going to be crazy and you guys can look the information up there youtube is out there that, that'll tell you that that have some information, some leaked information of the Switch was going to be powerful. Now, as far as backwards compatibility, that has been the number one ask for from consumers and concerns. Come on now. Nintendo incorporated the new account reason for a reason. They abandoned the old account system and they're sticking with the new account system they have, which where your games carried over. I remember I lost my Switch and you know that video is also on my channel. All I had to do was buy another Switch, which I did, and all my games carried over. All I had to do was key in my my Nintendo ID and my password and my games were just there. Similar to the Xbox and the PlayStation. If you buy a new Xbox or new PlayStation, all you have to do is enter your gamer tag information and all your games that you purchase from your purchase history is going to be there. All you have to do is re-download it. So Nintendo incorporated that same account system. So the current account system they have set up right now for the Switch is going to carry over to the Switch 2. And I'm pretty sure they're going to make significant improvements in the online arena that because the console is also going to be significantly more powerful than the original Switch. So we can expect better online, better netcode, and all of our accounts are going to carry over. But you don't have to quote me on that. We'll see, right? But all evidence right now points to that is going to be the case that the current Switch account is going to carry over to the new Switch with, you know, vast improvements. Yeah, folks. So that's all i have to say about the switch 2 it's in mass production you can look at that information on google at least we know when the switch launches there'll be plenty of switches hopefully at least going around where we don't have to trample over people just to get a, a switch 2 and everybody's going to be so excited i'm excited um it's overdue right now for a switch a new switch model i'm currently still enjoying my Nintendo Switch, I like it over the Steam Deck. Sorry, Steam Deck guys, I'm not hating, just keeping it real. I know the Steam Deck is technically more advanced, but it doesn't really matter. I still enjoy my Switch, the ease of going from portable to docked. I'm, I'm just ready for the new Switch, y'all, just like everybody else. So, just letting my fans know, letting the whole world know. The a switch 2 is coming we're gonna get backwards compatible compatibility and 
it's gonna be powerful. Nintendo's giving the fans what they want. They realize that, hey, you know what? There is a market out there for a very powerful handheld. Steam Deck proved that. And Nintendo's not about to let Valve or anybody else steal their thunder with a more powerful handheld console that can play third-party games. If you're new to my channel, like and subscribe. Red Crimson 2 out of here.